A very good evening. You're watching the headlines with me. I'm Dipavdi Hazra. As the protests against the controversial Citizenship Amendment Act continue in different parts of the country, Home Minister Amit Shah, while addressing a rally in Jodhpur today, once again reiterated that the act is not against the minorities and there is no question of it being withdrawn. Hitting out at the Congress, Shah accused the party of uh, driving the protests for vote bank politics also. Taking a dig at Rahul Gandhi, he offered to translate the law to Italian to help him understand it better. Union MOS in the Prime Minister's office, Jitendra Singh, said at a function in Jammu and Kashmir that the centre's next step would be to deport Rohingyas from the country. He said that Rohingyas were not one of the six religious minorities in the neighbouring countries who could receive citizenship under the CAA and said that they must be deported. His comments come in the backdrop of massive protests against the Citizenship Amendment Act. After passing a resolution against the Citizenship Act, Kerala Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan wrote to the Chief Ministers of Opposition Rule States to consider similar steps as the Kerala Assembly's resolution against the CAA if they are of the opinion that the law should be repealed. Remember, Kerala Governor had earlier rubbished the passed resolution saying that it holds no legal validity. Even as controversy rages over infant deaths at a hospital in Rajasthan's Kota, where the death toll has mounted to 104, authorities rolled out a green carpet for officials flocking to the institute after it started making news. The carpet was rolled back later after criticism. The NHRC has now sought a report on the deaths from the Rajasthan government. Meanwhile, Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot, in an attempt to play down the death toll, said that 1,000 children died under the BJP rule and only 100 died under the Congress. After a Congress booklet suggested that Veer Savarkar and Nathuram Godse had a homosexual relationship, the BJP launched a sharp attack at the Shiv Sena in Maharashtra. Devendra Fadnavis asked Uddhav Thakre to ban the booklet, while Giriraj Singh said that such words reflected a poor mindset. Even Shiv Sena Sanjay Rott was quick to dismiss the booklet's allegations, saying that those who speak against Savarkar have dirt in their minds. After Pentagon confirmed that US President Donald Trump ordered the killing of Iran Revolutionary Guards Commander Qasem Soleimani in an airstrike in Baghdad, the world reacted, advising restraint. Russia and Pakistan feared that this would escalate tensions further. The hashtag World War III trended on Twitter. Iran has vowed severe revenge. Meanwhile, the US Embassy has told its citizens to leave Iraq immediately. Prime Minister Modi held a telephonic conversation with Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison today. The two leaders have decided to postpone their meeting, scheduled for January 13th to 16th, after Morrison came under fire for neglecting a national emergency in his country. He was hugely criticised for leaving Australia as parts of the nation was engulfed in huge bushfires. The Prime Minister cut short his trip and also cancelled the India visit after the censure. Prime Minister Modi condoled the loss of life and property in Australia. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.